Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves short movie review. Kevin Costner's Robin Hood escapes from a Turkish prison along with a friendly Muslim to help address some of the Islamophobia inherent to the Crusades. And there's, of course, war propaganda in most wars. And Freeman, of course, delivers a charismatic and charming performance. Costner, I think he does fine, but I can understand why some find him wooden and monotone. He returns to England, the, the both of them do, and Robin finds his property torched, his father murdered, and that the his people are suffering under the cruel hand of the, not Prince John, but the Sheriff of Nottingham, who is taxing, blinding, burning property and such. And the, the people gather in the woods where Robin meets Little John, who has assembled the Merry Men, probably because Robin himself, this Robin, is not that compelling of a public speaker. And Robin, of course, falls in love with Maid Marian, who's very sexy without being overly sexualized here, compared to de Havilland's beauty and innocence. And the, yeah, the, the movie is your typical, you know, gritty, realistic 90s anti-hero action flick. And, you know, there is an argument to be made that that's an odd take on a British folk legend, but nevertheless, it's a quite enjoyable summer blockbuster, in spite of being perhaps a tad violent for a movie, you know, the, again, the legend is very, you know, regardless of age, and so it's the 38 movie, you know, anybody can sit down and watch it without, yeah, but this does get a lot out of actually showing the horrible things that they're, they're not merely mentioned that are done to people. You see property being burned and people being you know, physically attacked by the, you know, the men of the sheriff. Alan Rickman makes a very fun villain, as always. Unfortunately, neither Rickman nor Wincott get enough of a, of enough screen time, which is surprising considering that the movie is two hours and 13 minutes, not counting the end credits, but nevertheless they are a lot of fun. And the the movie very much goes for these modern values that arguably to an extent are also present in the folk legend, but where in the 38 film they feel like they come organically from the legend, here they do feel like interjected values such as civil rights, feminism, religious freedom, and economic freedom for all. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.